What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to a new video, everybody. Welcome back, my subscribers. Y'all have been killing it. Watching my videos, hitting me up, dropping comments in the comment section, just giving me some dope comments, funny comments, comments of words of encouragement. Thank y'all for that. But anyway, if y'all can tell from the thumbnail and from the title of the video, this is gonna be a good one, especially for the people that don't know how to tell the real from the fake when it kind of human made, because human made is still like a low key brand, but it's still popular if that makes sense but not enough information is out there for everybody to go look for it to know how to distinguish the real from the fake yeah i'm here to bless everybody today so y'all can know what to look out for and i think it's gonna be another good video i think these little educational videos like putting y'all on game does really well because that video that i showed before the xl large and double xl just like, i got like almost 3,000 views on that video i believe so I feel like those type of videos goes a long way when it comes to content so people know what to look for. And plus, I want to help y'all. Like, I want to help everybody to know what's real and what's fake. So this is going to be fun. Get right into it. And I'm going to show y'all what to look out for. So let's begin it. All right, y'all. So let's get right into the real versus fake human made. I came across this page. Rand well, not randomly, I was just, like searching human made content on Instagram. And I came across the real human raid. I was checking out his page to see what it was about. And I'm like, oh, this shit is perfect. This is perfect for some content for y'all because it's hard to find content or just information that's out there about how to differentiate real versus fake. And I finally found it and I hit homie up. And I asked him like, yo, can I use your page so people can use to go off of to find out what's real versus fake? Just to show my respect and not be disrespectful and use his stuff without asking. So he said, yeah. So now I'm making this video. So the Real Human Raid, thank you for letting me use your page to get this information out. And I highly, highly advise y'all to follow homie page, show some support, and let him know that I sent you. And maybe he'll just keep on dropping more content so y'all can find out what's real and what's fake and how to decipher the two. So with that being said, let's get right into Real versus Fake Human Made. Let's get it. First, we're starting off with stitching. So the polar bear we have right here is real, but the next slide, you see the fake. You see it off rip. I really didn't have to tell you, but as you can see, you can read the screen and see that it said the face and ear is low detail. Outline has inconsistent thickness. Shape of the legs is wrong. So as you can see right here, it's just like, it's not clear. It's not concise at all, especially like right here, that white, it's just too many. It shouldn't even have any little speckles in it, like the little black dots on it. It should all be clean and crisp. So I'm gonna go back and look how clean and crispy that, like crispy that is, compared to this bullshit. Trash. Nice and trash. Now also, look at this foot right here. That foot. And look at this one. This one had like more like a scoop to it, like a little curvature. This one just straight rounded out like his damn meat just hanging. Pause. But this shit just all wrong, so be sure not to buy this bullshit from this guy. Also, I'm gonna show you some things on Grail to look out for because this dude posting a lot of stuff on Grail and tricking people, and I'm gonna report this shit. I'm gonna report homie because he shouldn't be trying to fuck people over that's trying to buy some really good human made items and you just throwing your bullshit up there just to make a quick dollar because you know it's going. This is the next one. Human made never made this. They never made this. As on, and as homie said, I need to find these 17 people. Because I need to find them too. Because I knew off rip that this shit was fake. Because I have never seen human made or an ego drop any of this. I never seen an ego wear it. I never seen it on the website. I, I never seen it on their Instagram. I never seen this beanie. And I ain't never dropped a fisherman beanie. They dropped like, no, I don't know how to describe it. But if you know the beanies that human made drop, you know what the beanies that they drop. Like what style. And this is style they do not drop. So be sure not to get fucked over by this guy. And I'm gonna show y'all his name. So that's one. The third post we are getting into is the Storm Cowboy. I wish Nigo bring the story like the Storm Cowboy back a little bit more and like make him like the focal point again of the brand. Cause it's just like an iconic like logo to me. So as you can see with the Storm Cowboy, you know, basic Storm Cowboy logo. All right, so this is the human made Storm Cowboy logo. This is the real one. And I'm gonna show you the one not, I'm gonna show you the one to look out for because you're gonna see the difference in this one and then the next one I'm about to show you. So check this out. This is the wrong one. This looked like this motherfucker went through some radiation and came out on the other side and looked horrible. So I'm gonna break it down 
like even more because you can see like these like this right here just look at this just look at the sides like these appendages like coming out of the of the head of the storm cowboy like this is more detailed more defined and more shaped like it has shapes to it but this is just rounded on the edges and it's and it's not even right at all so look out for that also i know i noticed another thing like with the u and human made and the m like there's like a piece of stitching connecting from that u to the m it's not like that on this one it's like there's no like overlapping or crossover stitching to the next letter all of it just separated and that's just something y'all want to look out for and that mouth it doesn't like this one might look really like like it's like pouty and sad but this one just like just face so look out for these things man because it's hard to find this information because I've really been looking for this stuff for a long time. Like when I started, I was looking and I couldn't find it, but I found this page. I got lucky and found it. So next, that um, badge that the hats come in could also let you know that the hat is fake as well. So as y'all can read right here, it said also notice the bag that uh, hats come in. Authentic hats come, God damn, get out of here. It said authentic hats come in a bag that's, God damn, uses soft, like a softer plastic, the fake hat comes in a stiff, crinkly plastic bag, similar to the one they use for the clothes. Probably so they can use the same bag for everything. He said the, the fake bags often don't have stickers too. So be sure to check out for all this stuff. I'm sorry that I sound like an idiot when I read, but I'm just trying to get this information to y'all. So check out for this stuff. Make sure everything is legit. So next. Also, this name that you see on that bag on the right say fake. We're gonna get to that. All right, so another one with the hats, the real versus fake. Real on the left, fake on the right. So we're gonna get into it. Y'all maybe I can, y'all may not can tell. I can tell again if you look at that, that foot just look weird right there. That back, I guess that back right foot look just look weird. But anyway, as you can see, it's a clear plastic and metal. I'm wearing a real human made hat right now as we speak and I can prove to you like that shit is true. Like this part, come on baby, come on, come on, there it is. This button, it should be plastic. Mine is plastic, so yours should be plastic too. So if your shit metal and you buy from Grill and it's metal, hit up PayPal, tell them that you got some fake products and you want your money back. Get y'all money back because this shit just completely fake. And I noticed it like when he said it plastic and metal, like I've been buying all my stuff from human made, like all my hats came from human made. So I take all my hats, I'm like, oh shit, it really do check out. Also, you want to check the inside where the cardboard go so you can keep the hat like up, like the front part of the hat up and like not like pushed in. And uh, yeah, you can see the difference between the cardboard. So the next one, this will, this gonna be like a really, a really good one to look for as well. I'm gonna show you. So this one, some of y'all may can tell, some of y'all may not be able to tell. As you can see at the top, like the print is clean, crisp, legible. The bottom with the tiger print is is not crisp at all, and it's not legible. As you can see at the bottom, like the thickness or something going on with that print, it's just not working at all. It just seems like the thickness is just like inconsistent with that um, stroke. Like even with the tiger stripe, just look at the bottom, look at these, and now look at these. Like these are more legible, like to look at and understand what it is. This is not, le it's legible, but it's not as crisp and legible as the top one. So be sure to look out for these things when it comes to y'all tags. There's gonna be another post when it comes to the tags as well that I'm gonna show y'all. So I'm gonna show y'all that in a minute. All right, as the, I, re, I seen this on Grilled as well, I knew it was fake because I never seen Human Made drop this. I never seen Nego wear this. I never seen it on Human, Human Made Instagram because they always post everything that they drop every Friday. They drop and this is fake. This is fake as shit. I knew it was fake when I seen it. And I bet you this a Gildan hoodie as well. <laughs> so this is pure fake. So next would be another tag, low detail graphic. This look more blotchy and just print it on and that's it. And then we'll show you the real one. The real, this is what the real one looks like. As you can see, it's a little bit more like legible and the print is just right. This print seems very 
off and heavy. Like there's like a heavy print on here. So this is just completely fake. And here's the real. I checked my hoodie as well and it holds up. Mine's look like this one right here. Again, I get everything from Human Made. I mean, yeah, from the Human Made website, exception for like a few things that I bought from um, Grill. But all those things was real. But this guy right here has been selling a lot of fakes and I'm gonna show y'all his Grill page in a minute. So please watch out for the, look at look for the tags. Come here, do like a, like for a point of reference. So you have something to go off of. These are all the six posts that he's posted. And it's like, a, I feel like these six posts is good enough to go off of for people to use for themselves to like, you know, figure out what's real and what's fake. But I'm gonna show y'all fake stuff on grill. Oh yeah, this is my bag if y'all wanna buy it. I'm trying to, I'm still trying to sell it. Let's see, where we at, where we at, where we at? I just seen them not too long ago. Okay, here we go. This is fake, right here. This is fake, this is fake, this is fake, this is fake. This is fake and this is fake. And he has some more stuff on, he has more things on here that's fake. And uh, this is the dude name right here. I'm gonna show y'all. Like, none of this is real. So do not follow this guy. Do not buy anything from this guy because none of this is real. And as you can see, let me blow this up. Hopefully we can see this. Damn, damn, we can't blow it up all the way. Let me see. Ah, I won't let me. Oh well. But yeah. This print basically the same as, let me show you. All right, if you can like look at this right here. Remember this, y'all got it? Now look at this. It's basically, I wish I can zoom in even more, but that's the best I can do. Like you can just automatically tell like this is basically the same shit. Like y'all just getting these patches and stitching them on. And I think it just really fucked up, man. Like people getting screwed over it. and I'm I'm call homie out on his shit. I'm gonna have to call him out. I'm gonna have to report it to the grill. So are you okay with people getting screwed over by somebody selling them a fake product? Unless you really don't care if it's fake. Hey, I ain't, hey, I'll, trust me. I'm not judging. I don't, I, I understand some people don't want to pay that price, but you paying $100 for a beanie from this dude and it's fake. Think about it. You better off just go ahead and buy it straight from human made. But human made don't make those beanie, but still, it just don't make sense. Just just be cautious, y'all. Be very wary of the things that y'all buy from Grail because they don't have no authenticators. You basically posting it up, hoping that it's real. Like you posting it up, people just post things up. They don't check it at all. They barely check it, and then they give you the go ahead, and it's up for like to buy. So. Be sure to check y'all sales out there and make sure y'all use this Instagram page as a point of reference so y'all can, you know, know what's real and what's fake. So I hope this video helped. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe down below. I would greatly appreciate all the support that I can get. Y'all been killing it. Y'all, I'm pretty sure y'all like these kind of like educational videos. And I, I'm pretty sure y'all do because y'all learned this all from it. Y'all can actually use it. Also, follow me on IG at Mac11.exe. Follow me if you want to kick shit and just chop it up. But anyway, that's it for the video. I hope it helped. And if it do help, let me know. Like, if y'all, like, try to get screwed over by somebody and they're trying to say y'all something fake, let me know. I just want to hear y'all stories. But anyway, that's it. I'll catch y'all later. I'm out. Peace.